I don't fit my ball. What the f happened? Damn pro shop guy. I don't know how this happened. It felt good in the shop. He must have used that cheap slug that expands. What a jerk. How am I supposed to bowl like this? My thumb won't get in the hole. Forget about it. Does the pro shop guy expect me to use no thumb? Does this sound like an accent from the down under to you? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Thumb swelling, never heard of it. So I think what Art of Brooklyn is trying to tell us is that sometimes our hands can swell up and cause our fit to, well, not fit. Our bowling fits should be very tight in order to keep us from grabbing on the ball as we're releasing. Because it's tight, any changes, even small ones, can cause us not to fit our bowling ball. We're gonna talk about what these factors are next on the art of bowling. Hi, I'm Coach Arthur, and thanks for checking out the Art of Bowling channel, where we discuss tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. So we went to the pro shop and got our ball fitted to fit our hand and it feels great in the shop. He lets us throw a few shots and the ball is coming off our hand wonderfully. <laughs> then two days later at league night, you can't get your thumb into the ball. The pro shop guy must have used some kind of magic thumb hole that, that grows so he could get another five bucks out of me. Actually, out of Brooklyn, no, it's not the thumb slug that grew. If the thumb slug could talk, it would say, it's not me, it's you. Right before you bowled, did you have that Chinese takeout with a lot of salt? Or maybe stop right by the White Castle next to your bowling alley. Are you having a couple of beers while you bowl? These things will make you swell up and some of us just naturally swell while we bowl. Here's some things to combat these not so swell issues. Try to eat low sodium food before bowling to prevent a swell up. Hey, I'm not gonna give up my nutritional choices based on a little swelling, all right? So I'm just gonna eat my Crave Case of White Castle before I get my ball drilled. That way my hand will be the same size as league night. Well, I would prefer you go the low sodium route as it is healthier in the long run. It is what it is, what other advice you got? I do enjoy a good burger or hot dog while I ball. Our center uses certified Angus beef for their burgers, cheese steaks, and hot dogs. And much like my bowling accuracy, they hit the spot. <laughs> so I carry Easy Slide in my bag, which I apply to my thumb to help me get out of the ball if I happen to swell up. I also use this neat trick using a napkin from the cafe. I jam my thumb into the thumb hole with the napkin around my thumb. Then I let it sit there for 30 seconds to a minute, and then I take it out. You'll be amazed at the fact that your thumb will now fit. It's not magic, you're really just getting excess blood out of your thumb. You can also purchase a workout tool if you can't seem to get your thumb to fit in the hole the way it is. Don't overdo it and make that hole too large. And finally, to get your fit just right, you can use bowling tape. Make sure you change your tape often to prevent a sticky mess. If you layer the tape correctly, it's really easy to pull it out all at once. So that's what I got on the issue of thumb swelling. If you like this video, why don't you swell up the thumbs up button? And if you have any tricks to deal with thumb swelling yourself, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. I'm not fitting in my ball. What the happened? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm USBC Silver Certified Coach Arthur O'Connor. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes. Coming up on the Art of Bowling.